here's what's happening at Utopia Farms today. Uh, very stressful for us, very stressful for the sheep. Big worry. It's just, just chaos, zoo, mayhem, farming. This is when you need like 50 pairs of hands here. He's obviously stronger than me. See you later, little skid steer. Let's get started. Okay, so this today actually has been just super crazy, super busy. We've got, um, I guess it's uh, remnants of a hurricane coming in tonight, mainly tomorrow, I think. But of course, we have all that hay out in the fields. So we're running like crazy to get all that dry hay in. What a shame to have all this beautiful dry hay all made up and have a downpour on it. Like if it was just a slight little misting, it would be not ideal but it would be okay but a downpour is definitely gonna destroy hay and yeah downpours can destroy crops too so we're hoping that uh, the news is exaggerating and it won't be as bad as they say um, we also were expecting our rams from Alberta today I just got a message from them they won't be in North Bay until six o'clock tonight they're thinking and at that point they're eight hours away and then the classics like i think the classics starts the following day uh two days from now and if they had to come here like i i just don't again i don't think they can make it <laughs> and i guess another another guy's sheep are on there that there was miscommunications and now it's going to be dropped off here too or there's two of them. And uh, so he has to come all the way from London, Ontario to our house to pick them up. And I'm guessing I'm gonna have to call him and tell him that maybe the sheep won't be here. And that means that our sheep are gonna be heading to the Classic and they're gonna be stored there. And it's brutally, brutally hot and humid. And with the storm coming in, it's, uh, not ideal. They've already traveled, you know, um, I think like five days across Canada in this heat on a trailer with, I think, 40 some other sheep. Uh, definitely not good conditions. And now we're adding another like five days onto their journey. Uh, very stressful for us, very stressful for the sheep. Big worry. Um, but we can only do what we can do and hope for the best. Um, Roger's here today. He's helping Arnie pick up the hay that he made that was in the field, and we're stacking it up. The other problem is that we got our tires for the skid steer yesterday, but the hydraulic fluid um, is now leaking like crazy out of the skid steer, and you can't let the pump go dry or it will be a major repair. And so they just ran out to the dealership and got another pail of hydraulic fluid to try, hopefully, you know, um, get, get this, you know, piggybacked, I guess, so that it will work long enough for us to get these bales under cover. I believe the dealership is coming to pick up the skid steer today as well to repair it but you know repairs can take days so he's got to get all this in before they get here too it's just just chaos zoo mayhem farming um yeah it's totally unpredictable and so much of it is just totally out of your control as well have our tractor with the double wagons here and this wagon here it's a single wagon but it's longer than ours um, they both hold about the same so Arnie and Roger are going to the fields picking up hay together only one person can unload But I think uh, what the plan is, is that Arnie's going to unload this 
And maybe since the John Deere dealership's coming, I'm gonna guess that Roger's gonna take the wagon by himself now to pick up any hay that's left. And in the meantime, Arnie will start stacking all of the hay. That's my guess, we'll see what they do. I also um, had to this morning mark down all my RR rams. We are still gonna have that video coming up soon, but it's just been too chaotic lately for me to sit down and actually talk to you about what happened with the RR testing, which is scrapey testing on the rams. Um, but because the guy bringing our sheep from Alberta was interested in maybe taking a ram back to Alberta from here with him, uh, I wanted to put at least some identification on the rams so I know, knew who was who at a glance because I, unless the money is very, very, very good, I don't want to sell Moses and I don't want to sell another one of Gladiator's rams. So they're all marked. I'm prepared. Oh yeah, and I forgot. The other thing that's happening is that we're supposed to be shearing tomorrow during a hurricane. So I've got a message out to Jacob to see if we are still on. But of course, with all this, I was totally out of groceries. So I had to make a quick dash to the grocery store as well. Just in case, one, the two truckers were gonna spend the night or eat here. I wanted to make sure they were taken care of. And two, if we're shearing, I gotta feed everybody there too. And yeah, we had absolutely no food. Like me and Arnie can just scrounge around in the fridge for food, but when you got visitors, you gotta do something else. So I had to run out to the grocery store and get groceries, clean the house, all that kind of stuff. This is when you need like 50 pairs of hands here. Okay, so that was the experienced operator almost ran into the wagon there. I guess uh, Roger might be leaving and he's taking a nice bale of hay for his 4-H calves with him because he seems to think that our hay is a little nicer for his calves. So that's okay. We're happy to help. Maybe he's not leaving yet. He's heading this way. kind of done today for what Roger can do but Arnie says uh, go tell him to cut off the strings on a bale and see if he can roll out a bale in the feeder and that is what we need him to do but they're heavy so we'll see if he can do it so he's giving it a try it's a tough one but he's obviously stronger than me But these girls are hungry because uh, they've been out of hay all day, but they've been busy. Now this is dry hay, which is heavy enough, but the wrapped hay is even heavier. Oh, we got a lot of girls who are outside, but... They, they, they know when food is being served and they're all gonna run in from the field now. The rain arrived about 12 hours early. Just started to rain now. And I just brought, I think there's five bales, the last five bales in. And that should be it. They should be all saved, despite the rain. Okay, we were just about to come in for a break. 
And John Deere's arrived to pick up our skid steer. So he got finished just in the nick of time. And now our little skid steer is gonna go away again. Seems to be an ongoing saga with the skid steer. There goes our skid steer. See you later, little skid steer. We're getting to, ready to move our ease over. And this is what you hate to see when you look in your sheep pen. Buddy, are you okay? Are you alive? Oh, now he's waking up. He didn't look alive. Are you okay, buddy? Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. He didn't want to be disturbed, but he's disturbed. He was having a good nap. Hi, you guys. Hi. So these are the open sheep. They're gonna. We're gonna get them out of the way. Okay, the ewes that are getting sheared are gonna go out. Just gotta round them up here. Jacob confirmed that he's on for tomorrow. So that's good. Max, this way. Here, come here, Max. There we go. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. Max, stay here. Lie down. Come on, you guys. Come on. Max, stay here. Come on, Max. Ben. Here. Here, Ben. Good boy. Ben, here. Good boy. Here, Max. Max. Come here. Good boy. The garden. We forgot to cover the garden up. <laughs> ben, Max, ben, Max. Well, we need rain because they're definitely stirring up a dust cloud. Uh, Max, stay this way. Good boy. That's these guys in. I got them out of the barn. I already blocked them. And we got them in here. Now we're going to try to get the keeper rams out of here. Hopefully.
Hopefully they're going to get sheared today, tomorrow too. Max, come here. Okay, now I'm going to run up there, where you are. Good boy, Ben. Good boy. Good boy, Ben. Can you get by that way? There you go. Good shapeies. Good boy, Max. To an actually decent evening. Um, I got a call from the people with the sheep. They are planning to get here at 8 in the morning now with our two rams and two Suffolk ram lambs. And then the guy with, who owns the Suffolk ram lambs, he's going to come down. He was planning on coming down uh, to pick them up tomorrow. But if this hurricane slash rain event happens then I'm gonna give him a call and tell him just leave the sheep with us we'll look after them until things clear up because it's not the best conditions to be driving a trailer with sheep inside um, God knows the ones going to the classic um, they're all gonna go through a rainstorm a heat event a long journey and then they're gonna go into a show with hundreds of other sheep and have to go in the show ring and it's yeah this this has been quite some year for farmers for sheep for the weather like just craziness um, I just got a call from Jacob 
Um, we're supposed to be shearing tomorrow as well. Um, he's concerned about the rain too, so he says he's going to cancel if it's a major rain event. And again, I don't blame him for that at all. We don't want people to put their life at risk driving in horrible conditions. So, um, sorry it wasn't a real exciting video today. Um, lots of explanations and lots of stuff going on here. But, um, yeah, tomorrow it's to be continued, as always. So be sure to join us. And I guess we're going to see some new sheep anyway. Whether we're shearing or not, who knows? Stay with us and find out. Bye for now. Before I head in, see these? I'm outside and because of the heat, humidity, water, it's just unbelievable, the mosquitoes. And because the mosquitoes are unbelievable, someone's really happy. And these creatures all flying around. Those are bats. Isn't that something? Anyway, getting eaten alive. Kind of a cool view of the house actually as I head back to the house. The light's just perfect and we got the fireflies out here, the bats. And the light beckon beckoning us indoors. <laughs>